Hi, my name is Karen McAlpin, and I'm the executive director of the Corolla Wild Horse Fund. We are the nonprofit that physically manages the wild herd of colonial Spanish mustangs that roam the 4x4 beaches of Curry Tech County. The horses that live on our beach are actually registered colonial Spanish mustangs. We know through DNA testing that these horses are direct descendants of the horses that were brought here by the Spanish conquistadors in 1520. They um, have a lot of special characteristics. They only have five lumbar vertebrae. They have a low set tail. So in addition to the DNA uh, evidence, we also know through their confirmation that they are colonial Spanish Mustangs. And the Horse of the Americas Registry recognizes them as such. We have about 100 horses on 7,500 acres. And they lived here for almost 500 years. They are part of the history of North Carolina and of the United States. Wanted to make you aware of a few things when you go to the 4x4 beaches and, and see the horses. There is a wild horse ordinance in Curry Tuck County that makes it illegal to get within 50 feet of a wild horse. That's five car lengths. It's also illegal to feed them. The two reasons that it is illegal to feed wild horses in Curry Tuck County, the major one is feeding can be fatal. Wild horses live on a very specialized diet. Feeding them something like apples and carrots that most domestic horses eat can give them painful and often fatal colic. So that's one of the reasons it's against the law. The other is if they become friendly from feeding, we have to capture them and remove them permanently from the beach because they become a danger. They now demand to be fed. We only have 100 horses. We need 120 to 130 to have a healthy, physically, he physically healthy and genetically healthy herd. And anyone out of the gene pool is harmful to the longevity of the herd. Not only is the wild horse ordinance in place to protect the horses, it's to protect the people from the horses. Our wild horses are not afraid of people. They see thousands of them, but that doesn't mean that they're tame. They do bite and they kick. They are wild. And you put yourself at danger and your family at danger for being bitten or kicked if you get closer than 50 feet. Please admire the horses from a distance and respect the wild horse ordinance. We certainly don't want you to go home with a citation or worse yet, an injury. If you're driving up the beach or staying on the north beaches, uh, best way to see the wild horses in the summertime is when there's a west wind. When there's a west wind, the horses will come out on the beach to enjoy the cool water, just like you like to do. And again, when the horses come out, people have a tendency to surround them taking pictures, and they get anxious because they don't see an escape route. So if the horses are on the beach and you see people doing something that you know is not right, the Corolla Wild Horse Fund would appreciate your help and support and explain to them, just like I'm explaining you, to you today, why it's so important not to get closer than 50 feet. Our herd is on the critically endangered, nearly extinct breed list. So any horse that we have to remove from the gene pool is detrimental to the overall herd. So please respect the Curry Tuck Wild Horse Ordinance. Stay 50 feet away. Don't feed the horses. And help us keep them wild and free for at least another 500 years. I'm Karen McAlpin, director of the Corolla Wild Horse Fund. We welcome you to our beaches and hope you have a wonderful stay while you're here and hope that you get to see lots of the horses that we are so proud to have on our beaches.